Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel everyone. Thank you for being here for your next major love relationship reading. We're going to be looking into your next connection and who this is going to be with, what you can expect from this relationship and any other lovely little things that the universe wants you to know about this future connection. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, and to the cross watchers who are connected to a Scorpio. You may find traces of yourself in this reading here. Um, just a quick uh, reminder before I start, uh, please subscribe to the channel. That would be very much appreciated. Um, if you're after a private reading, please email me and I will send you the booking details. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, you will receive um, access to extended readings you will have um, exclusive member content only um, that will be sent over to you. Otherwise, um, let's tune into this and see Scorpio. Your next major relationship. Okay, strong Pisces and Aquarius, it's coming through. Cancer energy. Crown the reading. And then how is this person's personality? How are they presenting themselves? Okay, they're coming up as the Knight of Wands. So strong fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius or Leo here. This is someone who's quite quick. All right, they're... They're on the money. They're on the ball here. So I feel like they're coming up as a knight. So first impressions are going to be really strong between you and this person. And lots of this sexual energy is showing me you're going to have a really strong um, attraction to them, Scorpio. You're going to be very attracted to this person. Now, they're a very active person. So I'm sending, I'm sensing someone in sport, maybe someone who likes cars, uh, someone who likes going to the gym. Uh, you know, they could have a lifestyle page. It's someone who's got a lot of active energy and unsurprisingly, especially if they're a fire sign, uh, I feel like they could be, they could be older, but they've got this like youthfulness about them or they're quite, they're quite witty, which makes them uh, and playful, which makes them come across as someone younger than they actually are. I mean, they could look younger than they are as well. Mm. Okay, I feel like this person may wear a special uniform for work, uh, but I feel like they're guarded. I'm sensing a guarded energy, so it's not someone who's going to reveal their feelings for you right away. You're going to have to sort of be patient uh, with this person, possibly under the sign of a Pisces, Aquarius, or Cancer. I mean, the moon has come up twice. Um, I'm sensing the past still around this person, so they've either still keep in touch with their ex or... They have like children, they've got children here. So for some of you, this is a parent. They've got kids to someone else. Uh, and maybe that's children in the past that's coming through. Uh, especially if they like have custody over their children um, and see them quite frequently. So it could be someone who wants children. They could be wanting more children with you. But I definitely see a lot of you Scorpios in like a stepmother or stepfather kind of role uh, towards this person's children. I mean, so that's nice, especially those who are, you know, wanting a larger family. They can definitely give this to you. This relationship uh, can give you that. So I feel like it is a face-to-face -face kind of meeting. So I'm sensing a lot of you might be meeting online through social media or through a dating app of some kind. Um, that's going to be your way of uh, connecting and meeting with this person. So it's an instant attraction and then you're going to take it from there. Uh, for some of you, if it is a personal face-to-face uh, -face meeting, I think it's like through the family or through the community somehow. You might live nearby, you might come from the same culture, you might go to the same church. It's something that you share with this person, I feel, uh, that's coming through in the cards. So strong social media is what I'm getting or this relationship, you're going to put it all over your social media. You're going to put it out there to the world. You'll want everyone to see. You're going to want to show this person off. I'm sensing. I feel like this person's quite free with their sexuality, though. Um, I want to put it out there. They may be involved in some things that 
will make this an open relationship. So it's important if that's not what you want, you'll have to set those boundaries. If it is, then yes, it could be a very exciting relationship for the both of you. But I feel like they show themselves off a lot. And I don't know, Scorpio, sometimes you can be very private. So I don't know if you're going to be okay with this. It's going to be something you'll have to talk about. Uh, also, like how much they are willing to share on social media. That may be an issue in the relationship here. But I do feel like they're going to change their relationship status fairly early on without even like you telling them anything. They're just going to do it out of their own free will uh, is what I'm getting. Which is good, right? It shows effort. Now, there's two nights, which makes me feel like the both of you are going to sort of rush this relationship in some way. So it's important to slow down. That's sort of like a warning um, here for you, I feel, Scorpio. Don't rush the relationship. Take everything in good time, um, especially if this person is just coming out of a previous connection because there may be someone who still has feelings for an ex um, that's coming into the picture here. So I think it's important uh, not to let that get in the way too much or really affect this relationship. You know, I think they're going to be honest. I don't feel like they're going to keep secrets from you, which is good. And I think you're going to like that because they're sharing things. So I feel like uh, they're going to be honest. They'll tell you what's up. They'll tell you how they're feeling. They're a bit of a straight shooter here, which again could be that fire energy um, that's coming in around them. So they're going to be honest with you, which I like. I appreciate that. Um, okay, I feel like there might be some money issues in this relationship. So there could be money tensions. Who makes more money? They may not be working while you are together, so you might have to give them a bit of a kick up the bum um, to get them working and committed again. They may have a family business of some kind, or some of you may even start a business with this person. You may help them out. So, for example, they've got their own company. You might be there helping them out in that um, in that regard. You might give them uh, assistance where it's needed. And, you know, you both might make money together. Some of you are going to be like that power couple, building an empire together, building a brand, a label, a, uh, creating a service or a product together. So that's, that's always constructive. Uh, and I feel for the most part, you may work very well together here as well. Uh, I feel like, yeah, they're really going to share you on social media. I do see them sharing you. Um, and that's because they'll be proud. So I feel like you're going to be exclusive with this person. They won't want to hide you. They'll definitely want to show you off to everyone. Like, look at me, look at what I got. Um, and I feel like they're going to introduce you to their family very quickly or if they have kids they will want you to meet their children. They'll want you to be a part of their world. Some of you may go on to have more children with this person. So there is potential for fertility. Okay, 10 of uh, uh, pentacles, building a family. Could it could even be like blending families. So if you've got kids, they've got kids sort of joining your families together maybe. Uh, and I, I feel like that could be quite harmonious. Like your kids would get on with each other very well. Uh, or yeah, I definitely see that you'll be talking about having more children together. That's That will come up because I feel like this person is very caring. They've got cancer energy, so it makes me feel like they're a good caretaker. They're a good mother or father. They have that innate ability to look after people. But it's going to take you a while to see that. And for some of you, there may be a temporary break with the eight of cups. Like you might be, you might end up separating with this person um, and walking away from them. You may have a temporary break. Could be like a long distance thing. Maybe if you're from uh, different countries, but what I think this is pointing to is potentially having a break or needing to take time away from each other especially if like one of you work in a different country or have to move around for work or you know conferences you've got things sort of going on it could mean that for some time or another you are away from this person you're not as you're not as close 
in, in, in a physical sense, like physical distance. You're further away from each other. And I only say that because the Eight of Cups is here. There's potential for you to walk away from this relationship here, Scorpio. But to be honest, I think you're going to get quite attached. We've got Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer, Energy. So I feel like Cancer, Pisces and telling me, uh, are telling me you're going to be very emotionally drawn to them. Um, and all that water energy within you is going to be activated. But just be careful because it's going it, to... And, and, and be patient because it's going to take some time for them to get to know the real you. So, you know, they're, they're going to be patient with you, but I think it's important to be equally patient with them because if they're coming up as knights, you know, I do feel like the, the message here is not to jump into anything too quickly because both the knights could definitely indicate that you'll both want to do that. Jump into it without, without looking back, without assessing the situation. Uh, without talking about each other's feelings, all those wonderful things. Mm. But I think for the most part, I feel like the wait will be worth it. Okay, the hangman here. Um, because I do feel there may be some challenges. It could be from the past. Like for some of you, this person may still be in touch with their exes. And like it could just be a friend thing. But it might not sit well with you. And that's fair enough. That's something you're going to have to talk to them about. And see if you can work work through that. Uh, but it's possible. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the kind of person that still keeps in touch with their exes. I mean, they may take issue with the fact that you still speak to an ex. You know, you might have kids with someone else. And then they get jealous about it. And then there's, there might be a need for privacy. There might be like someone wants to be more open with the relationship. The other one wants to keep it more personal, more private. I think that might be you, Scorpio. That's your energy coming through. Um, and then if you don't agree, they might sort of punish you. I do feel like there might be times in the relationship where you feel like you need to punish them with a silent treatment. It might not necessarily work. It might not go how you want. It may backfire because they may end up doing the same thing uh, even worse or even more than you. And then it's like a tit for tat kind of game and you know that's no fun that's not going to move the both of you forward not not in a healthy way anyway i mean it could just be a a message from the universe telling you not you know not to go down that route but there's always potential here I never want to say there's not potential. So patience, patience and waiting and proving proving yourselves to each other is going to be a huge thing in this relationship. It is very much destiny. I love when the star card comes up because it speaks of things that are destined to be in our path, things that need to be in our path for whatever reason. So the fact that that's come up obviously says a lot uh about this relationship that it's destined but it can be like healing so some of you will have this relationship come into your life because you need to heal from a previous connection or you need to do some internal work uh, and this is the person that's going to help you do that this is the very much the relationship that's going to help you heal now it could just be other things in your life that this person can help you discover they may help you discover a family secret, you know, um, something that you may have to walk away from in your life, an addiction or a way of life. And that's OK, because I feel like they're going to open the lines th to this destined new chapter here for you, Scorpio. So that is very exciting and I think it's all going to be worth it. So um, I do wish you all the best in this, Scorpio. I hope you'll be very, very happy with this person. And I want you to be patient with this connection. It is very, very special and a lot can come of it. I'm going to wrap it up there. So thank you for watching. It really does mean a lot. Uh, for private readings, please email me and also um, 
if you wanted to su subscribe to the channel, pr please do so. If you'd like to become a channel member, you will get access to member only content and access to any bonus and extended readings. Feel free to join via the join button on my homepage. Otherwise, I'm going to drop it there. Thanks again, Scorpio. Much love and bye for now.